welcome to Sew Aldo. On today's sewing tutorial, I am going to show you how I easily made this dress that I'm wearing. You will not believe that this used to be a maxi skirt. So this project is perfect for beginners because you will not need any sewing patterns. This dress was super easy to make. It only took me less than 30 minutes to finish. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Aldo and I make sewing, DIY, and style videos. So if you like those type of videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to join my Sew Aldo fam. I post new video every Thursday at 9 o'clock in the morning central time. Also, don't forget to hit the notification so you will get notified whenever I post a new one. With that being said, let's get started. The first thing I will do is trim off the elastic waistband. Then I am going to match the side seams so I can figure out the center front neckline and the center back neckline. I'll go ahead and notch it. The side seam is going to be the armholes. I'm going to cut a slit right here and it's going to be about 8 to 9 inches. The measurements will vary just because it will depend on the size of your arms. To figure out how to measure that is I simply just put the tape measure on my shoulder and then I measure it down to my underarm and then I just kind of eyeball it from there. I'm going to do this process one side seam at a time um, just because I want to make sure that um, I will cut right along the side seams. Now I turn the fabric wrong side out so I can join the shoulder seams. So it's going to be four inches from here and it's the same on the other side seam or shoulder seams. I will use a stretch stitch for the shoulder seams. One of my subscribers told me that um, I should show it to you guys. So Lisbeth, this is for you. Just because you pointed it out, stretch stitch looks like this. It looks like a lightning bolt and the zigzag stitch looks like this. I will use the side of the presser foot as my guide. So this is roughly a little less than half an inch. So I'm just going to sew it and keep in mind I am not stretching the fabric, I'm just guiding it. You don't want it to stretch out. If you don't have a stretch stitch on your sewing machine, you can always do a narrow zigzag stitch. try on the dress so you can make the necessary adjustment. In this case, I will have to sew about one inch right here on the armholes just because it was a little deep. Now it's time to finish the neckline. I am basically just going to fold it just like this and I'm going to sew it all the way around. So this will give me a boat neck neckline. I like to start on the shoulder seam and then sew it all the way around. Uh, you might have to play with the fabric a little bit. You just want to make sure that you don't sew over a wrinkle. It will look terrible. And I am using a straight stitch this time just because the neckline is big enough so it will not um, stretch out. Keep in mind that you don't want to stretch the fabric as you sew or the neckline will gape and wavy. It's not a good look. 
I will do the same thing on the sleeve hems. I'm just going to fold it once and sew it all the way around. At this point, you don't have to do this. St the next step that I am going to do, you can easily belt the dress and it will give it some shape. Measured from my shoulder down to my natural waistline, so I mark that and it's about 15 inches. Using that measurement, I am going to grab where the pins are and I'm going to fold the skirt or the dress in half. What I am doing here is I am going to make a casing for the elastic to cinch in the waistline. So I will be using about a quarter of an inch wide elastic. So the casing that I will need to do is big enough so the elastic can uh, fit inside. I will leave about 2 inches wide opening or drive so I can feed through the elastic inside the casing. And I will be using just a straight stitch. Now it's time to feed the elastic through the casing or the drive. I am just going to put a safety pin at the end of the elastic. Finding the drive or the opening was a little tricky but it is doable. You just have to kind of go through the second layer of fabrics but it's easy. It, you can do it. going to insert the safety pin or the elastic right here and I'm just going to slowly work my way out until I reach where I started. As you can see, the elastic is a little longer than my waistline. It's probably 10 inches long than my waistline just because I want to be able to have extra tail at the end so I don't lose the elastic. So I'm just going to trim that off later on. And plus, it will be much easier if I need to make a necessary adjustment. I have that extra elastic at the end. I secured the ends really well so I don't lose it. So I'm just going to... Turn the dress right side out and I'm going to distribute the elastic or the fabric on the waistline. I'm also going to try it on if I need to make a necessary adjustment on the waistline. So I tried on the dress and I will have to trim off about 2 inches off of the elastic. Then I stitch it together and then I'm going to trim it off. Now all I have to do is close the opening or the drive and the dress is done. Yay! This only took me about less than 30 minutes. That's it for today and I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial. Don't forget to share this video to your families and friends that might enjoy this sewing tutorial as well. I have over 100 sewing tutorials. I'm going to have all the playlists right here so you can go ahead and check them out. 
subscribe to my channel. I upload new video every Thursday at 9 o'clock in the morning central time. And don't forget to hit the notification so you will get notified whenever I post a new one. I will see you next week. Bye!